I wanted to do an updated video on the easiest way to get Phoenix and Elixir running on your dev machine without having to install a whole bunch of dependencies. The easiest way I found is based upon uh, this guy's work. So you can go to github.com, nickbet, docker, phoenix. And I don't even have to clone this repository because this is kind of already has Phoenix in there. Really, the thing that I care about since I'm using VS Code is just this dev container here because the presence of this hidden dev container folder as you launch VS Code will set up a container. It'll pull down the right image and it will run that inside VS Code. So I will demonstrate how to do that. So first, I'm going to go and create a new folder. Um, let's just call it new project. So, uh, new project, sorry, new project, cd new project, and then I need those files, so I'll just copy them from another project that I have. So I'm going to copy from here, put them here recursively, please. So now I have this uh, dev container here. And so I'm going to close everything else. Don't save. Now, when I open up VS Code, you will get a prompt over here that says, folder contains a dev container configuration. Reopen the folder to develop in the container. Yes, please. So you say, open that up. And if everything works, we'll be sitting at the terminal soon, over here, which will be running inside the container. Need some help here. So here, you see that this is root and some gobbledygook here, but I'm sitting inside the, the, uh, the container. There's nothing in here. And you can look through these if you want. Essentially, the Docker is based off of the, that project that I just that showed you about. I think his latest is 1.6.6, but um, I've copied this from one of my my projects. The Docker Compose will compose together both the services, which is uh, Phoenix running in one area as an environment, and it depends on another service database, so it pulls in Postgres, and then it mounts a volume. And dev container has some configuration. I've modified this for my needs, so I commented out some of the things that he had on his repository. But we don't have any files of our own, but since it is um, mounting it, we can just come in here and create a new Phoenix project. Uh, mix Phoenix new here, and then the name of the project should match something like, um, what is it? New project, new project. I don't know if it'll take a name like that, will it? If it's actually going to continue, yep, so dependencies. And now you see you have your file. So now you have your repository set up with a hidden dev container, but all your files are here. And there's just a couple more things to hook up to your resources in development. It's that the dependencies, sorry, not the dependencies, but the configuration for the dev, you got to change this host name to be db. And that will allow you to run your create ecto create database command. The other thing is in the host. Uh, if you want to use localhost, you got to change this to 000. But other than that, you're good. So you should do follow the instructions here, 
Now makes ecto create. Hopefully that connects. And it does. And then mix Unix server. And with any luck, you can now go to uh, localhost and it's running. So that's the simplest way. You didn't have to install any other dependencies except uh, if you're using VS Code, this is the easiest way. Alright, thanks.